Okay, people. So, The Weekend Away is the new film from director Kim Farrant. All right. It's actually an adaptation of a book of the same name, came out in 2020 from Sarah Adelson, who just by chance wrote the screenplay for the film. Now, there's often times when that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not so much, you know. Uh, the film is produced by uh, Erica Steinberg, Charlie Morrison, and Ben Pugh. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's executive produced by Adelson, Carrie Hatfield, uh, Andrew Noble. Uh, music is from Daniel Wall. Cinematography is Noah Greenberg. It is edited by Sophie Cora. Casting is Saja Dracolik and Nanol Rollins. Uh, production design is Katja Saltz. Art direction is Ivo Hasjak. Um... Costumes are Camille Admalcoa. Yeah, I think I butchered that a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to lie. Um, yeah. Now, our cast. Okay, so we have Beth, who is played by Leighton Mester. Kate, who is played by Christina Wolfe. Um, there is Rob, who is played by Luke Norris. That is Beth's husband. Um, Jay, who is um, Kate's husband, is played by Paraf Fakara. Um, we've got Zane, who's played by Zad Bakri. Uh, Pavik, a police officer, played by... Amar Bukvik. Um, there's Kovac, played by Iva Milakik. Yeah, uh, another one of the police officers. Uh, Sebastian, played by Adrian Pedrick. And Luca, played by Marco Barrick. Um, Matteo. Played by Luigi Corvericchio. Yeah. Um, yeah, Matteo and Luca are two uh, escorts. Sebastian is the landlord. Um, they're our, our, main, our main group, I would say. Okay? And the gist of the film. Well, well, well. Well, 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 it is this. So, when her best friend vanishes during a girl's trip to Croatia, Beth races to figure out what happened. But each clue leads another unsettling deception. Bum, bum, bum. And... Um, yeah, so it's, you know, essentially a, a mystery, a thriller. Hmm. <laughs> now, I, I think we, we have seen so many great mysteries. You know what I mean? I mean? There's, you know, book adaptations, just all of that jazz. They don't always measure up. And The Weekend Away... It is, I like, it's not the worst story I've ever come across. Like, you know what I mean? When it comes to thrillers, sometimes the story is a little hokey, right? You look at it and be like, really? <laughs> is this what we're doing? But I, I, I think a lot of times that can be carried by strong performances, in this one, I think mean, one like the performances themselves weren't like they weren't terrible. 
it's just all the relationships you didn't buy. There was no chemistry, no chemistry between anyone. And you might say, oh, when we learn some of the, you know, the things about the relationships, oh, you know, obviously. But even with some of these things, right, at the stage characters find out stuff, it's just like, okay, but what about when they didn't know? Because even then, you're looking at it and like, yeah, these aren't friends, Right? These aren't fair. Like, you don't really buy the, you know, the friendship between Kate and Beth. Didn't really buy it. You know what I mean? They they didn't act like they've been best friends forever. It, because even those friends that you have, right, who you might not see for ages, you know, and life's been shitty, when you meet up, Right, everything just falls away. Everything, and even if, like, because sometimes you just be like, "Yo, how come you didn't call me, man?" Like, you knew this was, and then be like, "Oh yeah," because this was going to be like, "Oh, okay, boom." I yeah, I understand. I, it's cool. Fuck it, man. Let's go get some drinks. Let's go get some good food. You know what I mean? Let's go do this. Right, so. It's like, even if it starts off one way, it then goes into something else. Because you were best friends. This, nah, this does not happen. Doesn't happen. Now, obviously, look, they're trying to create this sense of, oh, maybe this happened, or maybe that happened, bum, bum, bum. And it's just like, okay, you can do that without having this weirdness or this frostiness, but it's not even a weirdness or frostiness between them. It just feels like two people reading lines, right, in the same space. We have, um, we have character reactions, right? It, it's just like, she Beth acts in a certain way around the landlord Sebastian, and it's all like, "Oh, I don't trust him." Blah blah blah. But takes drinks from people she doesn't know, right? So it's just like you 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 kind of feel look someone who is acts like she acts around the landlord isn't gonna take a drink of someone she doesn't know. Or if she does, it's going to be standing at the bar, seeing that drink be delivered. You know what I mean? And, and that's a thing. Listen, it's a thing. Right? When you've been in clubs and shit, like, you've seen that kind of shit. It's just like, yo, girls know, right? That, uh, yeah, do I want to take a drink that I haven't witnessed being poured from this person? Now, some will, right? But they're not going to then be like, oh, you could be like to someone else, right? It's like you're either mad trusting or you're mad suspicious. You know what I mean? And you might become a little bit less, you know, scrutiny. It's not a word. Well, it is a word, but it's not the word I'm thinking of. But, you know. There's times when you might let your guard down a little bit, but that's usually once you've known someone for a little bit, right? And that might be you've talked to them for a bit and you've like, oh, no, they seem all right. But we none of those steps happen. So it, it's just these weird character traits they're given these people, which don't necessarily make sense. You know what I mean? So we get that. The story itself, right? Now, it's not like this is set in the 80s or something like that. So you just think, all right, these people, they would have read books, watch films, TV, just they're going to know. And so 
if you're in a foreign country and certain things go down, you're not going, oh, I'm going to hide this information from the police and, oh, I'm not going to do, you know, because it would make no sense. You know what I mean? And because you know, chances are you're going to get caught, right? Cell phone data, just there's all of these things now that people can check on. You know, so it's just like, yeah, obviously, obviously, but you still get these stories where people are like, oh, I'm not going to tell them that, or I'm not going to do this, or blah, blah, blah. It was just like, wait, why wouldn't you do that, right? Why wouldn't you give this information? It's weird. It Like, it, they don't give a good enough reason for the actions a lot of the time, you know? Because you can be like, okay, if someone is worried about this thing, oh, I've got a criminal record, so I don't want to say that because of, you know, that leads to that, and bum, 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 bum. You're like, yeah, but they don't do that. You know? It is, it's, it's odd, right? It makes no sense. Then in the film itself, in the story, as things go on, these situations happen that are mad co convenient, right? So convenient. And you're just like, oh, dear, dear. especially at the end, especially at the end, because you just think, firstly, oh, that brick's going to be loose, right? So there's that thing. Then it's just someone who has done the thing isn't going to leave things just lying around, right? It's just be like, it's not convenient. Then we have a character who is being jumpy and skittish and all of this, all film, suddenly, right? suddenly can do these things. And you're just like, what? <laughs> like, what? It doesn't, like, you have to lay out more for people to be like, oh, yeah, I could see her doing that, or I could see him doing this, and bum, 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 that makes sense, yes. So it, it's just a bit of an odd one, right? It's just a bit of an odd one. The flow of the film, just all of this, you it, it's very hard to believe. Very hard to believe. Now, if, like, listen, the, you know, as I said, look, there's all sorts of thrillers and all of this kind of thing out there. And it's like, if you just love that sort of thing and it's, it, you know, it's your bag and you'll watch most things, then the weekend away could very well be for you, you know? Like, if you can just go, hey, I'm not taking this seriously, I'm just going to imagine, you know? Then you'd be like, okay, yeah, I buy, I'm going to buy into this, right? So, But, yeah, it, it, you need to be able to separate your belief, right? not take these little things too seriously because then I think the film will, you know, resonate a little bit more. Now, obviously, look, if you love the novel, I imagine the film will be cool for you because I imagine, look, I haven't read it, but the author wrote the screenplay as well. So if you enjoy that sort of writing, right, and these sort of threads, yeah, you'll like the film because she wrote the novel, right? So it's going to be in a similar vein. Certain things may have changed slightly, but that style, yeah, it's going to be, I imagine it is pretty much the same. You know what I mean? So listen, if you like the book, I think you'd probably like the film, right? It is now on Netflix. So yeah, if you want a film about people going away and it's not as crazy as a hostel <laughs> then the weekend away could be for you people